Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find, please ignore my printer not printing very well, uh, but I'm going to help you find the measure of one interior angle and the measure of one exterior angle in this regular polygon. Okay, so before we do this, grab some tools. Uh, you need a pen, you need a marker, you need a highlighter, and you need a calculator. Okay, so grab your pen. Well, grab your highlighter first. Find the measure of one interior angle. So we're going to highlight that. One exterior angle. And this is very important in this regular polygon. So we need to find two things in this one regular polygon. In the previous episode, we learned about the sum of interior angles theorem and if you remember that if you don't then here it is now remember it now uh, it is n minus 2 n represents the number of sides the n minus 2 represents the number of triangles that fit inside of this polygon and 180 represents the triangle sum theorem uh, so we would use this to figure out what all of these angles add up to but we're not trying to figure out what the sum of all these angles is what all these add up to we're trying to figure out just what the measure of one of these angles is so how can we do that well here's the key word regular and if you remember regular means it's equilateral and equiangular so that means this angle is congruent to this angle which is congruent to this angle which is congruent to this angle, which is congruent to this angle, which is congruent to this angle, and which is congruent to this angle. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven of these angles have the exact same measure. We could call all, call all of these x. So we know all these angles are congruent. We can figure out what all these angles add up to. And so let's do that. Okay. So. What do each of these, or what do all these angles add up to? So there's our n is seven because there's seven angles: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a heptagon, heptagon. So our n is seven, seven minus two times one hundred and eighty. Yeah, let's let's put that in our calculator. Seven minus two is five times one hundred and eighty would be nine hundred. So this equals the sum is nine hundred degrees. Are we done? No, because the question says one interior angle. And you've done this before. You split up things with friends or family. If you were to split up, a, um, I don't know, a piece of cheese between two people, you would cut it straight in half, two equal halves. If you were to split this piece of cheese, let's pretend this is cheese. I don't know what it is. So a heptagon. This heptagon is a piece of cheese. If we split this up uh, between seven people, we would split it up into seven equal parts or divide it by seven equal parts. Let's say that this cheese is 900. How much will we give each person? Well, we could figure that out. We would take the 900 and divide it into seven equal parts. So 900 divided by seven would be 128.57 degrees. 128.57 degrees. So each of these angles as I said twice already, this is 157, 128.57 degrees. All these angles add up to 900. They're all congruent because it's regular. So we just divided it by the number of angles, which is 128.57, 128.57, 128.57. Okay, so what's the formula? Well, we took the sum of interior angles. So here's the formula for one interior angle in a regular polygon yeah so we took the sum of interior angles which is n minus 2 times 180 and we divided it by the number of angles or the number of sides it's the same so divided by n so there is the formula if you have one regular polygon, 
and you want to find the measure of one interior angle, here is the formula, n minus 2 times 180. Okay, so split it up into equal pieces. There were seven of them. All seven of them added up to 900, so divided by seven. Okay, now we're almost done. We, we got part one, one interior angle. Now the measure of one exterior angle. Well, we don't even see any exterior angles. We could make one. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write 100 and 28.57 over here just so I have more space. Let's make an exterior angle. And let's take our ruler, if you have it. And so, and extend this line right here. So if this is the interior angle, that's 128.57. Here's our exterior angle right here. And so the question is, let's, let's make this pink actually, so you guys can see that a little better. And I'll draw that. Let's focus on that pink lines right there. Question is, if this is 128.57, what's the measure of this exterior angle? Well, look at this. These two angles are supplementary. So 128.57, subtract from 180. Let's go 180 minus 128.57 is 51.43 degrees. So 51.43. So there's a measure of our exterior angle degrees and degrees and all the interior angles would be 128.57 and that's it yeah okay so if we wanted to figure out the measure of this angle it is 51.43 and if we just kept on going like that all of these exterior angles right here would be 51.43 there you go. There's your two answers. So to find the one inch angle in a regular polygon, use this formula, find the sum and divide it evenly by the number of angles. And then to get the extra angle, just subtract from 180. Okay. All right. Here is example number two. Find the measure of one interior angle and one exterior angle in this regular polygon. So let's make sure we know how to count. So how many angles are there that are congruent? So there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, it's a decagon. Um, let me just make sure. Let's count it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten congruent angles. So let's use our formula, which is n minus two times 180 for the sum of all of these angles, and we're going to divide it evenly by the number of angles, which is 10. So n is 10 angles minus two to figure out how many triangles fit inside, divided by 10. Okay, so please put the, make sure that these two numbers are exactly the same. Some people in their brains, they do the subtraction in their brains and they'll put eight instead of 10. No, make sure it's always a number of angles there and there. All right, so let's use our calculators. 10 minus 2 is 8 times 180 divided by 10, which is 144 degrees. So this angle is 144 degrees. And if we drew the exterior angle, to figure out the exterior angle, just subtract it from 180. 180 minus 144 is 36 degrees. So all these interiors are 144 degrees. All of the exteriors, all 10 of them would be 36 degrees. Okay. And here's our formula. N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. Remember this only works when it's regular because all these angles have to be exactly the same measure. All right. Example number three. Uh Oh, it's different. If each interior angle measure in a regular polygon is 140 degrees. What type of polygon is it? Okay, so we have regular, 140, and what type of polygon? So let's figure out. It's really asking how many sides does this polygon have? Well, it's, we know it's regular. We know the measure of each interior angle is 140. So let's use that same formula. 
n minus 2 times 180 divided by n because this represents each angle measure in this regular polygon and we're going to set it equal to 140 degrees and then we just have to figure out what n is using some algebra so let's put a 1 under and let's cross multiply n times 140 is 140n is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Now we have two options. We can either divide both sides by 180 because this 180 wants to multiply. We can divide both sides or we can distribute this 180. I prefer to distribute because we won't have any decimals. So we're going to distribute this 180 here and distribute it here. So 180 times n would be 180n minus 2 times 180 is 360, 140n, we're bringing that down. Okay, so we want to get all the n's on one side. So we're going to subtract this 180n from here and here. And 140n minus 180n is negative 40n is equal to negative 360. And we want to get m by itself because we want to know what kind of polygon this is. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 40. And make sure two negatives make a positive. Your answer should always be positive. You can't have a negative amount of sides or angles. So n is equal to positive 9. So our final answer, 365 by 40 is 9. Uh, so what kind of polygon is it? It is a non uh gone. There you go. There's our final answer. Okay, so we use this formula. We set it equal to the one angle, and we solve for n, the number of sides, and number of angles. Okay. All right, and final example, just... For extra practice, uh, if each interior angle measure in a regular polygon is 108 degrees, what type of polygon is it? So we have one interior angle, which is 108. And we know the formula for one interior angle is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. This is the sum. We split it up evenly to get 108 degrees. We'll put a 1 under. And we're going to cross multiply. So we have... 108 times n is 108n is equal to n minus 2 times 180. We're going to distribute that 180 here and here to get 180n minus 360. Bring that, that 108n. We're going to subtract the 180n from both sides. And let's use our trusty old calculator. 108 minus 180 is negative 72n equals negative 360. And we want to get n by itself. So divide both sides by negative 72. So 360 divided by 72 is oh, 5. There we go. That's it. So n is equal to 5, which is what type of polygon? So it doesn't ask for the number of sides. They want the actual name. So it is a pentagon. All right. So there you go. Uh, what kind of polygon is it? A pentagon when each angle is 108 degrees. All right, the next episode, I'm going to show you, maybe the next or second to the next episode, I'm going to show you uh, an alternate way of getting this same answer. And yeah, so stay tuned for that. Until then, have a great day.